All right, we have an awesome video for you today, and I got a guest star here, Aki. It's my girlfriend's dog, Bulls fan. You're gonna be going through our 13 minute primal circuit here. So you're gonna be increasing your fat loss, stamina, and a little bit of athleticism as well, and core strength in this circuit here. And best thing is no equipment. You can follow along with me. So make sure to bookmark this video, save it, and just come back to it when you have 13 minutes to get that workout in, okay? We have a challenge for you. Try to do this workout three times per week for the next 30 days. So get into this workout, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And I don't wanna forget, if you like this workout, make sure to pick up our full program. This comes from our Primal Movement 101 course. So you can pick that up down in the description at any time. All right, so let's jump into this, get this workout in. All right, welcome to this Primal session here. It's gonna be a fun one. We're gonna start off with a warm up and then ease into the exercises and then progress from there. Okay, so with the warm up, we're gonna start by circular rotations through the joints. With the neck, we're gonna start just by tilting side to side here. So side to side, nice and controlled. Okay, now we're gonna to move to the shoulders, going into those circular rotations now. And the tempo is just a medium tempo, we're warming up here. Okay, now we're gonna switch directions, going from back to forward. Really try to isolate the shoulders, drawing big circles here. Okay, now we're gonna to go to the forearms and the elbows, drawing circles here, going in. And then out. Now we're gonna to go to the wrist, drawing circles here with the wrist. Moving at nice tempo here. Okay, now we're gonna to go to the hips. Drawing big circles with the hips here. You can do, what I'm doing here is, we're just rotating with the hips in a big circle. Or, if you don't like hinging this much, we'll go in the opposite direction now. You can just swivel the hips in a circle here. But I'm gonna go back to the slight hinge here because I like that one a lot. Okay, now we're gonna to go to the knees. Circular rotations here, bring the legs together, have the chest upright, and we're just drawing circles with the knees here. The weight is slightly shifted forward. Okay, opposite direction. Okay. Now we're going to the ankles, drawing circles with the right ankle. Really use the toe here. Now we're gonna switch, go to the opposite. All right, now we're going into arm swings. Swinging here, this is a great warm up here. Taking the joints through a nice swing, a gentle swing. And we're just crisscrossing the arms, opening and closing here. Okay, now we're swinging forward and backward. Just a relaxed swing here. And you can bend at the elbows if you feel like that, or you can keep them straight. We're just going with a gentle swing back and forth. All right, now we're just gonna rotate from the top. Keep the hips square, rotating with the upper gate. Palms facing up, shoulders in their sockets. And we're getting this upper back and the torso here. Just a nice little warm up, gentle swinging or rotation back and forth. Okay, now we're going to the legs. You can use something to assist you here. And we're just swinging the leg back and forth. Try to keep the back straight. Don't try to, you know, don't give out in the lower back. Just keep everything nice and controlled. Gentle swing back and forth here. Okay, now we're gonna switch. Opposite leg, same thing. Just a nice gentle swing. All right, now we're gonna march in place. Bring those knees up, spring off the toes. Use the arms, keep the elbows in. Going up and down. It's great for getting us ready for our starting exercise here. Okay, now we're just gonna do light squats. Bring the hips down and back, knees in line with the toes, arms out in front, chest upright. We're just going nice and, you don't have to go do a full squat here. This is just a warm up. So we're just engaging the muscles. Make sure to squeeze the glutes at the top. Okay, now we're gonna go into our first exercise. And what we're gonna do in this first round is go through the exercises pretty light. Now, if you're a veteran, you've been through this before, then you can start a little bit higher more advanced. But we're gonna go ahead and start with side-to-side -side steps. 
couple steps, keeping the feet close. You want to be on the balls of your feet here, on the toes. Slight bend in the knees. Your hands are in a ready position. And we're just stepping back and forth, side to side here. And you can increase the speed as you get a little more warmed up. And then in these later rounds, we're going to increase it even more. But we're just starting here, engaging these muscles, going side to side here. Okay, now we're going to go forward and back. The right foot's in front, left foot's in back. And we're taking two steps again in that active position, going back and forth on the toes. Two steps. We're going back and forth in a ready position on the balls of the feet. Just going back and forth here with the right foot in front. Okay, now we're going to switch, going the opposite, left foot in front. Same thing. Two steps, these shuffle steps here. Notice I'm not taking giant steps, keeping the steps nice, close, and controlled. And this is the first round, so that's why we're going a little slow here. Just get a nice warm-up. Again, if you're a veteran here, you can go a little bit faster, go more advanced. All right, this next exercise, just go ahead and shake it out. We're doing hip turns, and we're just rotating this back foot, pivoting on this back foot on the toe here. And we're going back and forth, opening up with the hips and turning. Similar to if you were throwing a punch, or if you're throwing something, we're turning with the upper body, we're standing tall, and we're pivoting on this back leg. We're going back and forth, and just go with your flexibility here, your mobility. All right, now we're gonna go into our planks. Really work our core. We're gonna go in the elevated position, start with the right side. This is for beginners again. Right side here. Make sure your elbows are in line with the shoulders. You're in line here, working the core. The hips are not sagging down. We're holding this right side plank. We're gonna hold here. And again, if you're advanced, you can go ahead and move to the ground, do some of the advanced modifications. All right, now we're gonna switch, go directly into your front plank, holding here. Make sure to keep the butt tight, keep the gore, core engaged, and we're holding here. And again, to make this more advanced, you can elevate one side or the other with the opposites. Okay, holding one side or the other, or alternating, it's gonna make that front plank more difficult. And we're gonna hold here, 30 seconds. We're really gonna work the core and our athletic ability in this. Okay, now we're switching to the left side. Left side plank, same concept. Elbows stacked below the shoulders, hips up off the ground. You can have the feet together or uh, staggered like this. I prefer the staggered, and we're holding here. And then when we start these next rounds, we're gonna, we're gonna bump it up a little bit. You know, we got our warm up, we got the muscles engaged. We're gonna step it up a little bit. Okay? All right, let's go side to side. This time, I want you to increase the speed. We're taking bigger steps if you can. Going a little bit lower if you can. If this is too much, then I want you to go back to that beginner modification, that beginner starting position. Okay, and if you're advanced, I want you to reach down. Get down low. If you have the mobility, chest upright, try to touch the ground if you can. We're going back and forth. Okay, now right foot in front, two steps forward, two steps back. Get a little bit lower. Try to go quicker here. If you can, get that touch in there. Reach and touch the ground. Okay. Back and forth. On the toes here. Keep it moving. As quick as possible here. Okay. Now we're going to switch. Left foot in front. And let's do this. Again, if you can touch, go ahead and touch. Two steps back and forth. Keep that alignment. Stay in that active position. Okay, now our turns. 
and we're just, just rotating from the hips, pivoting with that back foot. We're going back and forth. Now, if you're advanced, this is where you can add an arm motion. You can act like you're taking an axe and swinging it. But if you're a more beginner, we're just working this hip rotation. All right, let's go to these planks. Right side plank, holding here. And I'm actually gonna drop it to the ground, make it more advanced. So we're holding here. All right, keep on holding. And then we're gonna switch to this front plank. All right, let's go to this front plank. Keep the butt tight, hips up, holding here. And to make this more advanced, you can add that arm lift or leg lift. We can switch. Really get this core here. Okay, holding here. Seven more seconds. Stay strong. All right. Now the left side, same thing. Holding up. Now what's great about planks is if you want to ramp them up, you can do leg motions, arm motions, anti-rotational work with the core here. And if you're more beginner, you can go elevated. You can go on the knees here. You just want to focus on keeping the hips off the ground and using good technique with your alignment and in really engaging the core. All right, we're gonna start our next round here. And go. Side to side, give it all you got here. We're going down, if you're more advanced, once you get down with me here, we're staying low, working this athletic ability. Make sure to breathe. All right, let's keep it going. Stay strong. Okay, now we're going front and back, right foot in front. You can't touch the ground. Get down nice and low. Make sure your back's upright. Go as quick as possible here. Really push it. Stay in the athletic position on the toes here. 10 more seconds. Push it hard. Okay, switch. Opposite here. Same thing. Back and forth. Stay in the active position. 15 seconds here. Keep on moving. All right, let's do those hip turns. This time if you're advanced, act like you're swinging a 20 pound ax here. Make sure to pivot with that back foot, turn those hips. Crossing over with the arms, further work in the core. All right, we're gonna finish off with squat jumps. Just hold the squat if you can't do the jumps. We're going up and down. 30 seconds here. Push it. Try to go 90 if you can. Squeeze those glutes at the top. Push it. 10 seconds. All you got here. All right, that finishes it up. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you in the next one.